Dead and Dead. Dead Guy Ale aged in Dead Guy Whiskey Barrels. Dead and Dead complements the flavor profile of the classic Dead Guy Ale with oak and vanilla. Notes from our whiskey barrels. 8.2% alcohol. back to the Tapping Out Show. My name is Jeremy. This is Matt. And surprise, surprise, we're doing a rogues beer. Um, this is the Dead and Dead. It is actually the Dead Guy Ale, and it's been barrel aged in the Dead Guy Whiskey Barrels. We love this. Um, we, well, we've had both. <laughs> yeah, we've had. Uh, this guy's had so many dead guys. You can have dead guy stories, uh, but also the whiskey as well. We've had, which we've it's had a, some stories that we were just talking about as well. So um, we've we've had a good life experience with uh, with both products. Right. Um, so the fact that they're commingling them together um, should be. Uh, should be like home, I guess, for us. Um, we're hoping, because, you know, we try not to get our hopes up, because what you think you're, you're going to like, you end up hating it. What you think you're not going to like, it, you end up liking it. So. Right. Um, but we should like this, though. But uh, also say, though, with whiskey barrel age, you never know what you're going to get into. Right. To try it, uh, this thing could be way over the top, and I could it could be too much for me. So I'm looking forward to it either way, because... Uh, Honestly, don't know what I'm getting into. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing is uh, the Dead Guy Whiskey is made by the mash that they use for the Dead Guy Ales. Um, I like the whiskey. The whiskey is something that I was actually kind of thrown off by because it's not distilled for that long. I want to say it's like a month or not even that. And it's it's so weird how clean it is. And we were, you know, again, sharing stories about the whiskey and the, and the beer. And, you know, there was even a time where I, you know, got the brother-in-law one and you know rogues make sodas i used to make cocktails with their root beer and the and the dead guy whiskey and it, it i'm hoping this is going to be good because i love the stuff these guys make and dead guy has been one of our favorites for a long time either versions whiskey and or beer so i'm going to crack this one open we're we're hoping for something pretty good. This is only this is only a limited release, by the way. So if you can get your hands on it, regardless of what we say, please do because you're not going to probably see this for a while ever. And then they also added the oak and the vanilla, which is uh, is normally uh, is pretty good. Normally we we like uh, a lot of stuff we like that's been barrel aged. Whenever they kind of add uh, vanilla hints along with some oak, they seem to uh, balance out well together. It, it kind of cuts the, the bitterness out. It, it makes it a little less dry. All right, so it almost looks like a regular dead guy. It's got, you know, good carbonation. Does it smell like whiskey? It smells like dead guy. Eh, I'm not sure if it really smells like dead guy either, but... I was going to say, if anyone knows what this beer smells <laughs> like, uh, you would be able to... Carbonation's kind of... It's there. There's a lot of bubbles. And there's just it's, not a lot of head on it. It's lightly carbonated. You can see a little bubbles... Um, but I would say I don't see much difference that I would from a regular dead guy. So, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't seem much, much change there. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, all right. That's 8.2. It tastes... To me, a little bit lighter than Dead Guy. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm gonna a little bit lighter cut, and then a little bit of whiskey barrel at the end. But it's done well. Of course, you know, Rose hasn't done us wrong. Um, it's done pretty well. If you uh, if you if you like, you know, good beer and you like a little whiskey, it's definitely a good beer for you. So the barrel age is there, but not prevalent, like, 
Imperial Stout Barrel Age. I don't really even taste the alcohol. Uh, I mean, Dead Guy's a little bit higher on the alcohol spectrum for an ale, but I mean, not 8.2. Uh, I kind of agree with Matt. It almost tastes like a lighter version of regular Dead Guy, which is strange. Um, it's pretty easy to drink. Um, I don't really know what else. I don't know how to explain this because it's it's good, say, but it's not what I expected. Lighter version of Dead Guy with a light whiskey back taste. Yes, but not not where like if you don't like whiskey, you just can't have it. Like some kind of barrel aged stuff, where if you're not into it, you're not going to like it. But it's, uh, it's done very well, and the fact that it's stronger and easier to drink is kind of crazy. Yeah, no, I agree. So so what, what are you going to rate this beer? I'm giving this a five. Five out of five. This is, this is really surprising. I was expecting harsh. I was expecting you, you light. Almost, you almost want to give it a five plus, you know, yeah. a little asterisk just to give it a little something better. Um, the fact that you can take a beer as good as Dead Guy... And do what you did with it. And then improve it. <laughs> yeah, because normally it's going to be, you know, some people look at it a little sacrilegious sometimes when you, you know, do stuff like this. Um, you know, for me, it depends on how good you do it in the end is, is what I'm going to get, you know, really kind of grade you on. But they made this out of the whiskey made out of this beer, right? So, you know, the fact that they complement each other, then it was, you know, with, with oak and vanilla... And uh, you know you're able to have more alcohol, a little bit of whiskey back taste. Again, Rogue's never done us wrong. This is another amazing beer from them. They took a classic, and I actually think they made it better. Please pick this up. Uh, if you like this, don't like this. If you want to know how to find it, if you like Excess Series, any of that stuff, email us. Uh, our email is info at tappingoutshow.com. Uh, we're on social media. If you want to just hit us up, there's three of us. We'll we'll write back to you as soon as we can. And that's tapping out show, all one word. Um, we are going to finish these. This is amazing. Awesome beer. You guys have a good night. Cheers. <laughs>